Good morning, guys. Uh, it is currently about 28 degrees this morning in Tennessee. Frosted over, freezing cold. To me, that's miserable outside, okay? Uh, I don't like the cold. It's no, it isn't a surprise or anything that I hide. I don't like the cold. <clears throat> We've been able to chop leaves and do fall cleanups and stuff over the last couple of weeks and it got pretty cool in october and then it came back but i just want to talk today and let you guys know what i've been doing now i posted a video the other day and i kind of hinted at it but about two months ago i'm working and i'm driving in my truck and i'm listening to a podcast i'm listening to uh, brad lee's podcast brad lea if you guys listen to podcasts i definitely recommend it but uh, I keep hearing stuff about life insurance. And then a guy named Sean Mike comes on there. And uh, then I realize he'd been on there two other times. And so I go back and I start listening. And like something started talking to me. You know, it's it just not see it's so weird. But something started talking to me saying, you need to look into this more. And then I did. And so I signed up. <coughs> I signed up with Real Financial, which is Brad Lee's side of insurance, which is basically the FFL uh, company that Sean Mike is the CEO of. And uh, I just I just tell you, like, listening to the podcast, I was thinking I was going to be able to get going in like three or four days. And I guess if I, would, uh, if I was contracted already with carriers and I already had my license, I could have. But it took me about a month to get through the course, the pre-licensing course, because some of this stuff I, I had heard of and I knew, and a lot of this stuff was just mumbo jumbo that I had never heard of before. So anyway, um, I go through my pre-licensing course. Like I said, it takes about a month. Then I do my test. And I thought that after that, like after I got my test, I'd be selling the next day. Well, then I still had to get contracted with the carriers and then i had to get e and o insurance uh had to get fingerprinted and background check so you know like it, it's like every time i'd go to get started and i was thinking i was ready it was i wasn't okay so uh and not that i wasn't ready mentally i was ready but i just had to get everything in line you know, it's the end of the season for me, so it's a time of year that I don't like to spend money because you don't have that much money coming back in. But with the insurance, it's just like I, I don't feel like there's a chance I'm going to fail. And, you know, I, I say everything's a mindset, and if you have a positive mindset, things are going to work out for you, uh, especially if you're not lazy and willing to put in the work. So, um I do my pre-licensing course. I do uh, my test. That was a, I'll do a, probably do a whole video on that one day because that was a stressful morning and not because of knowledge. Uh, it was just technical difficulties, but I may do a video on that. But um, yeah, it was just me. You know, I did the pre-licensing, then I did my test, then I got my E&O insurance. Uh, and through all this, when I sign up for Real Financial, Real Financial, they paid for my pre-licensing, which I think is like a $250 course. Well, then after I passed that, after I set my schedule for my test, I was like, okay, well, now I need to figure out, uh, you know, when I'm going to take my test. And then I realized that they actually paid for two other more courses through, uh, it was through Excel Solutions, and both of them were like $89 a piece. So, you know, as long as I was willing to put in the work, they were going to pay for it because they know as long as I can become an agent with them, I can make them money along with myself and helping families too. So um, it was like a no-brainer. Something was telling me to do it, and I wanted to. Now, granted, it's totally different for me. You know, I've I've worked in a plant. I worked in a plant for 18 years. I've had an outside exterior service business for uh, eight years. So to think that I would just sit in the house 
and call people all day and talk to them about life insurance, try to help them out. That's something I, I would have never put money on that one that I would have wanted to do or two that I would have actually put in motion, but I've done both of those. And so with my business now, I still have customers in lawn care and washing, and I'm still maintaining those customers, you know, throughout this year. Now, I think after all the leaves are done and all the cleanups are done, as far as uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas goes, people always like to have their properties like that. I doubt that I'll be doing any kind of lawn service next year and uh, maybe not even any washing. Uh, the barrier of entry into this business is not that much, but you know, uh, and it, it, especially if you have family that you can sell policies to, because if you have family, you can sell policies to, to get started, that helps you buy your leads. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing with any business, like what I've been doing a service business is getting people to call you. Okay. Uh, advertising, paying for advertising. And with this business, you actually pay for the leads and those leads are people that have actually filled out a form wanting life insurance and they put their information down you buy that information and call them back and see if you can help them or not and uh, so it's been a big uh learning process i love sales i've always studied sales what what's a good way to sell uh i read one of the, one of the first books that i read you know i started recently reading books one of the first books i read was uh uh I think it's how to influence and pe how to influence people and get people to like you or something like that. It's a really good book, really a lot of good information, uh, and I continue to read. But uh, you know, when I wash, because I'll still be out washing, I I'm not able to do this full time every day yet because I still have you know responsibilities to my customers. But when I'm able to, you know, I'll be doing this every day from, you know, eight in the morning until whenever, uh, been totally different. Uh, but you know, don't ever think that you're just a, a one track pony and that you can't change in life. Okay. That that's what I'm getting at. I started my lawn service and I said, I want every yard. I want every customer. I want everybody. I want to, I want to mow everybody's yard. And then I realized that that really wasn't what I wanted uh, the ROI wasn't, um, uh, great. I mean, it is, it's good. And you can make a lot of money in lawn care if you got an employee and you want to deal with that. But I, I got to where I didn't want to do that anymore. I did that for a while and I didn't want to do that anymore. Uh, so then I started washing and I really enjoyed that. You make, you can make a lot of money washing, you know, you're advertising, you have expenses, you have a lot of things that come out, <clears throat> come up, but, uh, with the insurance, you know, I'm, it's like I pivot, I started lawn care and then I pivot to washing and lawn care. And then I was trying to get away just to do washing. And now I'm trying to get away really from all of it just to do life insurance. And, you know, if you get on YouTube, you'll find tons and tons and tons of videos on it. And I probably won't make any other videos different from some of these other guys, except for the fact that they're my videos and it's my progression. So, uh, you know, I hope you guys stick around. Like I said, they'll still be watching videos. I still answer all the comments. I, I answer comments every day. Um, but you know, I I've started a new venture and I look for that to be the what catapults me to where I want to go in my career and so uh, that's just a brief story of what I've been doing for the last you know couple of months is trying to get all that in order you know as you know in any service business especially where I'm at you know in the south things start slowing down and uh, you, you always got to be able to you know make up that income and then, you know, I think even if I had a ton of money in the bank, I'd still want to do this because it's something that I do. I love sales. I love trying to sell somebody something, but, and I've always liked sales, but I like helping people also. And so, uh, that's where I'm at today. I'm going to make videos. I'm going to try to make a lot of videos, get the information out. There may be somebody out there, you know, one, if you're in Tennessee and you need life insurance, hit me up send me a comment, email me, uh, 
uh, I'll try to take care of you as best I can. So that's one thing. But uh, two, just try to put information out. You know, like I said, I'm not going to put anything different out than some of these other guys do because there are tons of videos. If you go through Real Financial or FFL or just get on YouTube, there is so much support. I mean, we have uh, stuff that's free that helps us with our policies. We have stuff that's free that's forums for all the, the agents and they, you know, piggyback on each other and congratulate each other and push each other and you know it's it's uh, comforting to know that you know even though you're do you're doing this alone you're not alone and man it's it's awesome the support is there the training's there and the knowledge is there the career's there as long as you're willing to change your mindset and put forth the effort and you know that's totally me so that's my time for the day. I just want to let you guys know where I'm at, what I'm doing, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. We'll see you.